Kevin, thank you very much. It's a beautiful Halloween afternoon in Waco, Texas, a longtime Texas football rivalry. The Horn Frogs have come down the freeway not too far from their own campus to take on the Baylor Bears, a big 12 game from McLean Stadium. Second time they've had the ball early in the first quarter, second and nine for Duggan and the Horn Frogs. Back to pass with time. Going deep down the right sideline and the catch along the sideline by Johnson. Field, his completed pass. What a great First catch. Down. Now, he's become or is becoming their go to guy. A couple of games ago, he ran a route like that and did not make that catch. And this time, he's come up with it. And TCU has an advantage, a speed advantage at the skill position. Barlow with the carry. Touchdown, TCU. The quick tempo after the big play. And a three-yard touchdown run gives the Horn Frogs the first points of this game. You know, Gary Patterson has some history with Dave Aranda and, and Tom Harmon when they, they were back at Cal Lutheran together. Isaac Power punts the ball away. Another good punt for Baylor. This one may be a little more returnable, though, for Darius Davis, who's got great speed across midfield. Davis, look at him go inside the 20 to the end zone. Touchdown. Wow, what a run by Davis. You want your punt return guy to make one guy miss and hopefully get to your wall. Now he makes a couple guys miss, and then you see the white shirts that gave him some blocking. Look at the wall that he has to use down that sideline. He made a couple guys miss, and he got to the white shirts. First and ten. Receiver in motion, and they pitch it to Tay Barber. Coming right side, cuts it inside. Barber, touchdown TCU. In their own territory, third and nine to start the second quarter. Brewer empties the backfield. Back to pass, pressured immediately, and he goes down. The pressure came from the outside and a sack for TCU. One of the signature pressure plays of the Gary Patterson era. That's Keon Stewart with the sack. Very talented player in his own right. Another handoff and another big hole straight up the middle. Zach Evans, touchdown. The true freshman, the first five-star recruit in the history of TCU football, 30 yards to the end zone, and TCU fans have been waiting to see that. And this TCU defense is certainly cleaning up the mistakes that they've had in, in giving up big plays. Very fair point, and TCU deserves credit for that. I'm glad you're making that point. That throw down the field is caught, and finally, Baylor has a big play on offense. Man, did they need that. They're down 30 nothing. They just need something positive. But they're not playing with huge urgency here. A minute and a half to go, first half. With two timeouts, and the ball comes out. On the exchange, Baylor's got it. I think that was Ryan Miller who came up with it. Baylor has all three timeouts. They didn't stop the clock there after that negative play, which I don't get. Three-man rush. Brewer kind of heaves it over the middle. He's got a man caught for the end zone. Stopped a little bit short. R.J. Steen. If that defender yeah. hadn't fallen down, maybe a chance to make a play on the ball. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't the scheme that hurt them. That one is toward the back of the end zone, and they say touchdown. That's Ben Sims. Second and four here for TCU. Another handoff and a first down and more for Barlow. Across the 20, out to the 30. There goes Barlow to midfield. Darwin Barlow with a stiff arm. Still going inside the 20, almost down to the 15. What a run. What a run and what a block at the point of attack. He got great blocking by his offensive line there as he cut back. But once he gets into the open, it's all him. I mean, he runs through a tackle and then a nice little stiff arm to keep going and now let him think, protect the ball. Nice run. Well, the players have... Zach Evans, Evans bounces off a would-be tackler. Still going. Evans out to midfield. Zach Evans, the freshman, having his breakout game today for the Horn Frogs. Well, what happened to the idea that he needed to get the ball more? That's what Baylor told us. He's hardly touched the ball in this game. That across the middle, the tight end. So hard to bring down Ben Sims inside the five. First and goal coming up this for the is, Bears. He went a long way and worked really hard for those two yards. 
Trying to get lined up here. They'll fake it to him. Brewer rolling, throwing, caught. Touchdown. Sims again. Fourth and three. Maybe a must have for Baylor. Brewer in the pocket. Pressure. Brewer got away. Charlie Brewer extends the play down the sideline. It is caught. Touchdown. Now, maybe they say he caught it and was out of bounds. Ebner went into the end zone. Yeah, the other part Debatable. of it is that you, you've just run a couple plays and you don't have another one you're confident in. Kick is up and good. So Baylor thought they had a touchdown. The play did not get reviewed. It was spotted out of bounds. Oh, it was bad back then. It's, it's almost impossible now. Second and ten, handoff. There's Squirrel on the move inside the 20. That speed inside the 10. Touchdown! Hold on. We got something going now. TCU 33, Baylor 23 for Rod Gilmore, for Chris Budden, for our entire ESPN crew. Dave Fleming saying so long from Waco, Texas.